Hello everyone, I'm Srivansi from JR Costumers. In this video, I'm going to show you a workflow in Powerland to create a Pipette character and convert it into Meta Human character in Android. So for reference, I'm using an 80 level page for the concept images and I will be sure to put the link in the description. Let me just open the character. With Powerline, you will be provided with few assets. One of them is Hide Guide Asset. Use it for guidance. So here, this is currently six feet tall, and let's say we need the character to be eight feet. Once that's done, uh, take another asset called Meta Human. This is a light. So in this asset, we have a base mesh, which we'll be using for sculpting, and a rig to pose accordingly so that we get the proportions easily. Select the rig, put into pose mode, match the scale so the height we get is desired. So according to the concept, we have a character with thin legs, broad shoulders. So let's make those changes. Let's And it also seems like the legs are slightly shorter than the torso. So I'm using this torso control. Hold it down a bit. And once the legs are paused, I'm going to use these tweaks to align it back so that angle is not too wide. Now for the upper body. The width of the shoulders are these. We just going to X-ray move so that I can see the armature. Let's say this is the desired width of the shoulders. And it seems like the arms are slightly longer and the shoulders are bulkier. Same goes for the forearm. And the belly seems to be narrower. Slightly like shorter arms. Let's say we are happy with the proportions. I'll just save this as a version. We have to apply these transformations and mesh changes onto the mesh so that we can proceed with sculpting. For that, open 
connection manager and in layout tab you just hit apply and hit transformations just to be sure of the mesh and once that is done proceed with the sculpting as much as we need as close as we can get with the concept for the tutorial sake i'm not going to the long process just keep it simple let's say this is the final model we want uh, and the next step is converting into metahuman for the metahuman we are going to follow a process with confirm template method for that we need to mesh so for that i provide another asset called metahuman bind shapes drag it into your viewport we don't be using needing bones so in that asset we will be getting three meshes two of them are will be used as template base head and metahuman topology and the one will be used for the transfer click on the required shape and then click on the combined shape and use connection manager for the transfer just use the default settings apply hit apply and shape key value to be the highest which is one then click on update mesh now the mesh and then the required template meshes will be updated with the desired shape now export those shapes as a fpx poly template export select body template and hit export now select head and hit export so open those locations where we have the mesh double click to open so let's open unreal now open your unreal project for the meshes which we exported from blender create a metahuman character asset open metahuman character asset Click on body, click on confirm from template, choose fit option as hit from mesh only, select the mesh, put it here, click import. So as you can see this is the shape, we got the shape for the body and for that confirm from template and hit confirm. Now we got the metal the desired shape so you can go ahead and download textures and create create full group and assemble it 